now that we've fixed the fog machine, you can check out the video over here. We're going to try and use this fog machine to create some sort of a fog curtain. I have a shoot plan for a nice cosplay and we're going to try and create this. It's the first time I'm doing this, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. And we'll solve the problems as they happen. Let's get to it. So the idea is to have our cosplay hero move in this direction and pass through a fog curtain with the camera on this side. Right, this is our black background. Now, the only issue is that whether we should have the fog coming out of the bottom or falling down from the top, we'll figure it out as we go along. So the first thing we're gonna need is some pipe. So let's get that. Mm. All right, so this is the pipe I have here. We have something much larger here and this one, this one has a cap, so let's start with this. And if your pipe has a line, that's great. If it doesn't, I'll just show you in a second how to do that. We're also gonna need a drill and some drill bits. We're gonna start off with small, tiny holes, about five millimeter, and make our holes every centimeter or so, because I want a lot of fog. I suggest clamping down the pipe so it makes it easier to drill all along here. I'm done making the five millimeter holes about one centimeter apart throughout the entire length of this pipe. Let me just clean up the place a bit and let's test it. So that doesn't seem like it's working. Um, it's going in properly in the pipe. However, it's not heavy enough or thick enough to create that curtain. What we're gonna do is try and maybe mount this the other way, pointing downwards. The other thing is that the fog is dispersing very, very fast. It's completely turbulent and spreads everywhere. So I've mounted the pipe upside down this time to create a waterfall fog on a C-stand. that's suspended right there. And my fog machine opening is over there. Let's see if this works. So this has the same issue. It disperses very fast. It's, as soon as it comes out, it starts spreading everywhere instead of going straight down to create that curtain that I want. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna cool down the, the gas before it actually goes into the pipe. And there are two ways of doing this. The first way is actually using some ice in an ice box and passing the gas through the ice box. The second way is actually using a humidifier. So what makes the gas heavy is the humidity in the air and the ice, the water on the ice. So we're gonna try first method, that's the ice box. So let's go get that first. So I'm back with a nice ice box. This is actually a, an ice cream cake to look forward to a little while later. I'm gonna clean this up, make some molds, and I'm gonna put some ice in there and see how that works. So to hold the ice box, I'm going to use a C-stand and a baby plate. Get this nice and straight. I'll just set this up and show you everything. All right, so this is what this looks like for now. That's the ice box in there. And my pipe hanging with the holes pointing downwards. That seems like it's working. I might need a bigger ice box. Let's try that again. So the smoke is going down and it is staying down. As it warms up, I guess, it'll start rising again. So the ice box trick seems to be working. However, I need to make sure there's no leak happening here. 
on the top of the box as well. Let's try it again. Yeah, so it's definitely working. Just look at that. <laughs> look at all that low-lying fog. That's so cool. If you look up there, there's barely any fog. Everything is down towards the ground and slowly rising higher. I feel like I'm in a disco. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure there are no leaks. Raise this much higher. All right. And tomorrow we're going to shoot and see how it works. I'm quite sure this is going to work. Just need to make sure that all the gaps are, are sealed. I can get a larger ice box from one of the frozen food stores, but I have a feeling this should work. So I've had time to think overnight and this is what I've come up with. A fog machine sends in the fog through this pipe over here. I have stuck this with some super glue and then sealed it with silicone so no air can escape or fog can escape. This is a new addition. I'll explain that in a bit. Our outlet now is up here and this is what will take it. I'll show you in a second. We'll take it to the fog curtain or in this case, a fog waterfall. This is the new addition. This is a humidifier. This is from uh, Xiaomi, I believe, and this is a cold air humidifier. Now we know that fog can become heavy with cold air, something like ice, or if you increase the humidity in it. So first we're gonna try with this and see what this looks like. And then we're gonna combine the ice inside the ice box as well as the humidifier. And we'll see how that goes. Turn on the humidifier and as you can see, the humid air is coming out this way. We don't want that, we want the fog to go in this way and the humid air to go up this pipe here. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is just the humid air going in through. I'm just close that end from where the fog comes in. And this is moving downwards. Of course, it dissipates instantly when it's lower. Let's try it with the fog machine on now. So that's almost perfect. Like I'm just emerging from the fog, as you can see. All right, next step is gonna be adding in some ice. I think we got it. While I wait for the fog to leave the room, adding in some ice in here. A little bit more. All right, so that's it for the ice in the box. I am going to seal this box as well. All right, let's give this a try. The humidifier is on and I'm gonna hit the fog machine. This should be it. This is properly sealed. No more leaks, hopefully, and let's give it a go. Perfect! Yeah. Oh, lovely. This is perfect. All right, so it's working. So a little bit more gap. Let's see how this is. We've got the humidifier on fog machine ready let's go for it okay that's the first round i might need a larger cooling box i guess try this with a larger ice box I think it needs a little bit more time to cool that gas uh, cool that fog so it stays lower as you can see over here 
the fog that has taken its own sweet time is actually falling straight down. So for now, for this shoot that I'm going to do later today, this is ready and good to go. I'll show the results in just a sec. Oh, and before I forget, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a nice thumbs up. That really helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.